A pair of astronauts stuck at the International Space Station for more than six months just got news that they're going to have to wait even longer before returning to Earth. Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams were launched into space aboard the Boeing Starliner in June and were only supposed to be there for eight to ten days. Instead, multiple mechanical issues with the Starliner forced NASA to eventually return the capsule without Wilmore and Williams in September. The astronauts staying behind at the ISS due to safety concerns. The SpaceX Crew-9 Dragon capsule, launched in September, was supposed to return Wilmore and Williams home in February when the SpaceX Crew-10 was scheduled for liftoff. NASA announcing Tuesday that date has been pushed back again. Revealing Wilmore and Williams replacements will be traveling aboard the SpaceX Crew-10, now set to launch no earlier than late March. SpaceX Crew-10 team will need time to complete processing and a debriefing on ongoing research and maintenance aboard the ISS before Williams and Wilmore can return to Earth on the Crew-9. NASA hasn't revealed how long that will take, but the astronauts are now reportedly looking at a return date of late March or April which will mark at least nine months in space. NASA says the final integration of a new spacecraft is a painstaking endeavor, adding it appreciates the flexibility of the station program and expedition crews. The extended stay in space has reportedly prompted some concerns for the astronauts' health and the environment, though other NASA astronauts have stayed on the ISS longer. Notably, a twin study kept Scott Kelly aboard the station for 340 days from 2015 to 2016, and most recently, Frank Rubio became the first American to spend more than 365 straight days in space. Kelly did report several health problems after his time in space, particularly issues with vision and slower cognitive abilities. For more on this story, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit san.com. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Jack Almer.